Hey guys, welcome back. This is just room for our bowling game we built. As you remember, last time this was like we built this basic bowling game. But as you could see at the beginning of the video, I was showcasing the more advanced version of it. Yeah, that's probably just the update. Which, yeah, it is. As you notice, I had all this security systems, and it's actually pretty easy to implement them. So let's help you with that. So first thing we do is we have to move this thing underground. So we just basically move all the redstone that we made. All the way underground. Just simply like this. That was the end gate right here. Sorry guys, I'm not prepared. So just simply move it down here. Just basically replicate the whole thing just down two blocks and actually now that I think of it it's probably a good idea to actually move the three blocks down so that we could actually cover the whole thing up completely so we'll just do this this sorry guys i just and we'll just get rid of this that this 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 now I'll just do the exact same thing that we done before this thing I'll look down as well and put this and get built here okay this um, this should work out much better than just having it all above ground as we could actually do it a bit more underground macros so yeah I'm off of my head because I built the whole thing just by myself without any help. And as you know, when you build something by yourself without just figuring it out yourself, you will not very good. So you just the uh, rest on top here. This will kind of make it work, but we don't have an output or anything yet. So let's just set up an output. Get rid of all this wire. It is perfect quiet. I'd say this wire because it perfectly runs all the way. But now we don't care about it because now I'm gonna be hidden. Get rid of all these phone eggs. Okay. Now I'll just move this whole thing down quickly. I use the simple method to actually figure out stuff perfectly just by placing the blocks where we need them. The dispenser will be right here. So How about we just put down another block that just I think this should work. I don't worry, I'll just move one block down. Not to worry. Block. And I'll just quickly connect all of it. There we go. 
Huh? And now we'll have to make it power this dispenser, so I'll just basically invert the signal. And now I'll just simply run this wire. Yep, perfect 13 blocks long. So this would run perfectly. But now I had some tweaks to it. Like as you have seen, I had block itself after you finished. And all this stuff is simple to add. Just take you down, add this, get your eyes back. And you will notice that the item is automatically just closed now. And you can do this all around it as long as you don't block this off. Pistons and pistons don't actually block it, they actually let through. So keep that in mind to make it easier for you. Okay, I'll just simply now this whole thing works now, but it looks quite ugly when it's exposed like that. So just cover the whole thing up with dirt or whatever. Whatever your flows are it's made out of. As you know, it will actually get powered at some points over here, like, if I just run this around, there we go, there's a point. So make sure that you don't actually have it messing any of your circuits up like that. So yeah, now, we'll just simply add these dispensers, I mean, sorry, pistons. And then, as you have seen here. I had these right next to pressure plates, which means I had pressure this like that. Oops. And that's also to prevent cheating as well. So this is just all the anti cheat anti cheat systems I set up. So this yep. Oh it now. This actually classified as wired automatically. Now we don't really need this. This is just kind of like the admin access. So you could set up some door that only admin will be able to access. And then just simply right here. The block that you want to use to cover pistons. It could be anything except for any storage box like dispensers. I'll just use the again, just to keep the grass area looking grassy. And yeah, now this should actually do the exact same thing. There we go. We'll get these boundaries around it. And then I'll just place any block of any sort up here. That's just to add the look up for it, to it. And then just some sort of boundaries right here. Just to keep players from actually being confused where to shoot from. You could add whatever you like over here. I'll just add ice to make it look nice. And then, yep. Yeah. Dispense is actually gonna give items enough power to get dispensed. I know that mobs will just suffocate, but I'll just try this out. And yes, you will get this redstone just stopping from time to time. That actually indicates that you shot wrong. Oops. 
is the best to shoot while jumping as well. And as you can see, it actually does bounce up, but does not knock off the pressure plate. This one just got stuck. Normally, you could actually do this, and they had those boundaries on front as well. But this is just a game for fun, you don't really have to have them. I'll just cheat quickly here. Because it's not actually the easiest thing to get them all in set up like this. And yay, we got some redstone. And as you can see, it actually flinged that all the way. Even though I can't pick it up because of the actual single multi multiplayer conversion. I'm sure that it's actually still somewhere there. Yeah, just this piece. And it's down there. That's a problem. And to fix this problem, we just move the dispenser up one block basically. Right here, ice in front. That stone on top. Then we just have to move this whole thing. Which is quite simple, you just have to connect this like this, and that's all. So now let's get the admin or whatever to collect all this. For the actual are spaced out more a bit, so it's actually more like bowling. But it just takes more time, so I just set up a simple one for you. Also those trapdoors. You could set them up in that three-way one, but I'm not gonna set them up here, or else they'll just block off the path. Even though you could use it to turn off the bowling game. And now this whole thing should actually work. Let's just load the dispense up. Oh damn it! Let's just load the dispense up with a bunch of redstone. Put stone on top so that it's disguised. I'll just put this so that could actually find immediately. Okay, we have a perfect amount of repeaters needed to complete this whole thing. Oh, we succeeded. So yeah, I think you just use glass panes here instead of a sword block or the iron bars. So that you could actually get closer to this ice, or else you'll have to just jump up. Unless you actually want to make it more challenging. Another thing that stops them is the actual items dropping against the wall. So keep that in mind too. And we got some redstone. Even though I would recommend you to have. the actual dispenser over here so that players don't have to actually get in here plus this will be just blocked off like this so that nobody could walk up cheat just pick up any item then chuck it back and get some stuff and only admin could just walk around and get everything or else you'll just basically fail because uh, your diamonds will just, if that's an, on an SCP server, your diamonds will just get pulled away from you simply, or whatever your reward is. So yeah, this is about it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.